this is the Provoke Brawn, and in this video I'm going to be comparing Lee and Lee's Unifans and talking to you about the various different models. There are three Unifans, the SL120 seen on the left, the AL120 in the middle, and the SL Infinity on the right. The SL Infinity 120s are the newest and best from Lee and Lee, and I'm going to show you the differences between them in this video, including looks at the various different RGB lighting effects. So the SL120 is the latest and most recent Unifan from the company. These are interlockable fans, so all three versions are interlockable, so you can basically just connect them up in sets of four just by interlocking them with the various different connectors on them and I'll show you a bit on that later on but the end result is that you then need just one cable per group of fans to control both the RGB lighting and the fan power and that's awesome enough on its own but what Lian Lee also does is create some really nice looking fans so a look for example at the infinity fans and you'll see some really nice aesthetics in terms of the RGB lighting not just on the fan blades but also in the infinity mirrors in the middle and that's where the infinity comes from and lighting around the edges and then infinity mirrors on the outside as well now Lian Lee's changed the design of the fans over time and you can see both the front and the back of them and the way the RGB lighting has changed so the original SL120s had quite a large lighting area around the outside of the fan and not so much in the middle. Now the company has moved to basically have RGB lighting in various different points around the fans and to create a really nice lighting effect with the infinity mirrors and both the middle of the fan and at the edges as well here so you can see a lot of this. Now I've done videos separately on all of these fans so I'll link to those in the description so you can find out more. But it's worth noting as well as changing the RGB lighting other things have changed too. If you take a look at the boxes for example of the AL120s and the SL120 Infinity fans, you'll see the specs show ever so slight differences, and I'll leave these in the description, but you'll notice that the AL120s spin from 800 to 1900 RPM, whereas the SL120 Infinities go from 0 to 21000 RPM, and there are also differences in airflow and CFM as well, which are worth noting. Now, these fans are fantastic and are my favorite fans that I've set up when it comes to RGB lighting. They are still the best, and if anybody asks, I would recommend them highly in any of these models, to be honest, because they're so convenient and easy to set up in terms of how they work so they use a little mechanism which basically connects up with two cables to a single fan but the bonus here is that you then interlock the fans and you can have usually groups of four up to groups of four and four groups of four so you can have 16 fans per case per control box in total which is really neat now there's been some changes made here in the design so you'll see when i connected the connector on the sl120 on the left it went sort of at the edge and it was quite long now the new sl infinity 120 the connector goes in the middle and it's a little bit smaller which is interesting now it was interchangeable with the AL120s and the original SL120s so the design stayed the same there in terms of the connector for the cables and how it clipped in and the overall look and feel of it and also the cable on it I'll show you what I mean there in a second but it isn't the case anymore it's a completely different design it clips in in the middle it's a little bit smaller it stands a little bit taller but there's also another thing that makes it interesting which I'll show you in a second as well but it is interesting that they've kept the same sort of interlocking design, but they've made some upgrades and changes to it. And this is especially apparent when you buy a triple pack or a single fan. And this adds a point of interest. So if you're moving between the fans, if you're already a Lee and Lee fan, then please be aware that you will need different cables and a slightly different setup logic. So you can see here the cabling difference, for example. They both need RGB and fan power, but the RGB connector is different now on the new SL Infinity fans. So you can see that's actually a standard RGB connection on the single fan cable. Now that means that you can plug this theoretically directly into an RGB header on your motherboard and then get RGB control for a group of fans like that. The other thing is the connector has a little 
box on top that you can remove. So there's a little locking mechanism on top. You can take that off and then you can flip the direction of the cables in the opposite direction. So despite the fact that this comes from the middle of the fan, you can then change the direction that the cable's facing. This is useful for cable management purposes and really handy for aesthetics. And this is one of the reasons why Leonie's Unifans are already fantastic because they make life a lot easier. So if you've got interlocking fans, that means a lot less cables. Traditionally on other RGB fans, you need two cables per fan, one for RGB and one for power. With these Leonie interlocking fans, basically that connection is exchanged between the locking mechanisms and therefore the RGB and power passes through all of the fans that are connected up, resulting in you only needing one or two cables per group. Now this has changed slightly, which is why I say one or two, because when you buy a triple pack now, you get a new style of control box and some slightly different cables, which are fatter, and I'll show you those in a second. Now the cables included in the box include a micro USB connection, which plugs into the USB head on your motherboard, a connector that will connect up both system fan power header and also RGB connection, on the motherboard as well so you can have PWM and RGB control from your motherboard or you can just connect up the USB controller on this Lian Lee control box and this is another change that's worth noting so if you're coming from other Lian Lee fans this controller is slightly different. So the previous fans also had a control box if you bought a triple pack and that did the same sort of thing in that it would control the RGB and power. And the logic is the same. You have four sockets so it's four groups of up to four fans per group that you can control so you can 16 fans in total from this controller and from the original controllers on the previous fans which meant that you can group a lot of fans in a case potentially as long as they have four connectors so into four groups then plug the usb connection into the motherboard and the sata power into your power supply unit and then you can control the rgb lighting and fan speed from lee and lee's l connect software you also have the option to plug in the extra cables so that you then have rgb control from your motherboard software and fan speed control from your motherboard software and from the bios as well so these fans are very clever and also really easy to set up the control box isn't incredibly complicated it's pretty straightforward. There's very few cables thanks to that interlocking logic and so it's really easy to do. Now you can see the difference here that I was talking about earlier on. When you buy a triple pack you get a slightly different connection. So if you buy a single fan you get one connector with two cables on it. If you buy the triple pack you get these slightly different cables. They have the same connector but then they have a flat cable on the end. That flat cable gives you both power and RGB in one connector rather than in two separate ones. This is one of the big differences between the SL Infinity 120s and the other uni fans and makes things straightforward as long as you have a triple pack. If you don't things become a lot more complicated. I've done a video on the wiring of the fans if you're interested but the end result is a lot easier. Another thing to note about the Infinity fans and unfortunately I don't have any footage of this but the end clips so the clips that clip together in the various fans when you're clipping a group together if you're left over with some on the ends, they can actually be rotated 90 degrees now and completely removed. So if you find those clips on the end of your fans that you don't actually need and they're jutting out in a way that isn't aesthetically pleasing or might be getting in the way in the case, you can actually take them off because you don't need them obviously to connect more fans if you've already selected the number that you need for that specific location. Another neat feature and a small attention to detail that will be really welcomed by many. Now I want to demonstrate different shots of the fans so you can see the SL120 Infinities installed here in the Air Mini. So I'm going to give you some close up shots of each of them just to show you the differences between them and then show you some of the lighting effects. So obviously the Infinity fans have the Infinity parts on the front of them and the side but the rear looks really nice as well with those stickers. If you look then at the AL120s I think that they were still really aesthetically pleasing. They don't have RGB lighting on the sides, not nearly as much RGB lighting on the sides but you do have the ring around the middle and the little hints around the outside. They also had those nice sort of metal backing stickers as well so no matter which way round 
the fans were facing they still looked really pleasant and that was my personal opinion a lot of people didn't seem to like them versus the original fans though and you can see the original sl120 fans here in the lee and lee dynamic xl and you'll notice that there's quite a lot of rgb lighting around the very edges on the top and bottom there so you had a lot more lighting around there but not so much in the middle of the fan obviously it was lacking there by comparison and you certainly didn't have as nice and aesthetic another thing with the original fans was there was black stickers if you had it set to intake so it looked a little bit messy and nowhere near as clean as the new design from multiple angles you can see that the sl infinity 120s really look the parts so these are fantastic both with rgb turned on and with it off they have some very nice mirror effect parts on them on the sides and in the center and there's also a really clever design where basically it's layered so that if you look into the mirror when the rgb lighting's on you'll see various different levels of the rgb lighting all the fans also have some really nice rgb lighting controls obviously when you turn the rgb on you end up with that classic rainbow look but you can also as you've seen some samples of already go through cycle through various different rgb schemes easily controllable within Lee and Lee's l connect software which i found pleasant to use and also obviously to have motherboard control as well both in fan speed and rgb lighting and you can basically set and go between these rgb effects really easily there are loads of pleasant ones to do now this is the finished product with the sl infinity 120 fans and also the lee and lee galahad cooler and the streamers have gone all in on lee and lee in this build this is also in the air mini and you'll see that the various lighting effects not only work on the fans but also on the lighting cables as well so on the streamers so you get some really nice lighting effects you also notice that the visuals appear not only on the flan blades but around the circle around the badges and also in the infinity mirrors too and there's loads of different effects that you can go through absolutely loads and i showed off a lot more of this and talked about it in the full unboxing video that i'll link to in the description but it's insane these are definitely the best out of the bunch and the best so far specs have changed ever so slightly but in my mind these are the best fans around and i will still recommend them i recommend any of them it's really a personal choice which you think looks the best aesthetics wise but i'm pretty sure people are going to think the infinities are the best now and hats off to lee and lee for continuing to create great fans it'd be really nice to see more and more brands adopting this sort of interlocking mechanism to make for less cables in your case less cables less hassle for setup better cable management and our overall superior aesthetic and just easier control is so simple and this has been the provoke prawn let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and what you think of the new fans compared with the old and also smash that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video consider joining the channel if you're a fan of my content check out my discord and come say hello this has been the provoke prawn thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.